Today we're going to sit on our pillows with our feet right there. So we're going to try that and open up your knees, Frank. This is not an easy position. So if you have to tuck your toes under, sometimes that's easier. If you have to stand on your knees, then, or windshield wiper, whatever's most comfortable with you. Today's class is all about positive habit hack. So we're gonna do an exercise that incorporates five to 10 minutes, but less, the less the better. So the less the better is wonderful because some of us think that we have to do 30 to 60 minutes of cardio. That's not the case. There's a bio hack that you do an exercise for five minutes and then you're done for the day and it builds that strength in the body. So that positive habit. Stand on your knees if you need to. We're just gonna breathe here. Hand on the heart, hand on the belly. Relax the elbows to the side. Inhale slowly and exhale slowly. So we're taking time to settle in. We're only doing two more breaths in this position, breathing in, breathing out. Yeah, take your time, do whatever's right for your body. This hero's pose, it took me a while to get into this pose. One more breath in. And let's close our eyes this time, really concentrating on lifting the crown of the head. The shoulders come back a little bit. We bring a nice smile to the face and we're feeling that wonderful breeze through the park. And then exhale, relaxing the shoulders and allowing the shoulders to fall and the elbows to hug the rib cage. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Okay, so from hero's pose into tabletop preparing for our down dog. Now this is one of the bio hacks. Michelle, we normally don't do this. It's more normally gentle, but I'm going to show you a strengthening exercise. And I always let people know when they come up to down dog, we're going to do a down dog flow. If you need to come down and rest, because this is a strength builder right here, then do that, please. Honor your body. You don't have to come up the eight times that we're gonna do that. Spread the fingers wide. Allow the wrist to come just a little bit forward from the shoulders. Pop up the derriere in the air and push back. Exhale as you push back. Feel that exhale and the strength building in your arms, Frank, and then come down to your knees and allow your hips to fall as far as they'll go. Breathe in, sit bones back towards the heels, pop up into down dog, push back, exhale, feel that strength building, and then on the inhale, drop the knees, push the hips forward, and again, you're gonna feel that on the wrists, but the wrists are building strength as you do that. Bend the sit bones towards the heels. Pop up in a down dog. Push back, feel that strength building as you push back on the palms. And then inhale, drop the knees to the surface. Exhale, bring the hips to the surface. And then slowly come back, preparing for the down dog again. Sit bones towards the heels and up. Now by this time we've done three. If this is too much for you to go any further, Michelle, then honor your body and come down and rest, please. Exhale, knees to the surface, breathe in, hips allow to drop to the surface, and then inhale, sit bones towards the heels, pop up in the down dog, and push back. Exhale, inhale, drop to the knees, exhale, drop the hips, inhale, sit bones towards the heels, pop up in the down dog, push back, exhale. We have one more. 
Breathe in, drop the knees. Breathe out, drop the hips. So the hips are hoovering. You feel that crankiness in the back? We're gonna get rid of it soon. One more time, let's come up. Breathe in, pop back. Breathe in and out. Knees come down, coming to child's pose. Taking the pillow that you have on your blanket, putting them on top of your calf area here. Coming back with your toes tucked under or your feet flat on the surface because our different child's pose is right for some people and not right for the other. I want you to honor your body, Michelle. Walk the hands forward, the elbows forward. You're gonna feel a deep stretch. Now walk those elbows backwards towards the ears if it's too much of a stretch. Honor the body. This is all about your yoga, Michelle, not anyone next to you, not the yoga teacher. Took me a while to come down all the way into child's pose because I was way up here when I first started. We're here for two more breaths. And we're doing a biohack system to the body. So that yoga flow, we get the heart rate flowing high, high, high. Yes, the wrists are hurting. Roll them a little bit as you're in this child's pose. Relax the hands and the wrists. And then we're slowly going to come up to tabletop again. Walk the hands wide. Dig the fingers in. Now I'm asking you to do a lot if you're not used to doing this on your wrists, okay? So I want you to honor your body where it's at. I'm always going to remind everybody, okay? This is a half plank pose where you bring your hips down with your knees and you're holding this pose. This is you tuck the toes under in a full plank pose. Sometimes that's too much on the wrist, like I can really feel it. So I want you to honor your body. You can even do it with one pose. We are here for eight breaths. Eight breaths is tough. I'm gonna do it on the knees for four breaths and up for four. So breathe in slow, drop your chin into your chest. Feel that strength building in your upper body. Now the hips are falling towards the yoga blanket and I'm feeling it in my lower back too. And so if that's too much for your body, bring the belly button to spine and breathe in and out, constricting the abdominal. Four more breaths, either up or down, you decide. We're going to go ahead and stretch out those wrists after that and come down into a lower heart level. I'm starting you off strong and then we're going to come down and relax, relax, relax. Two more breaths. Good. Come down to the knees if you're not already down on the knees. Keep the toes tucked under. And rotate the fingers towards the knees, Jessica. Feel that stretch and slowly bring the butt cheeks towards the heels. You're going to feel a deeper stretch in the wrists. Good. Now slowly roll forward. Inhale. And roll back. So if we have any carpal tunnel, if we have any cranky fingers like I do, this really stretches that energy out and opens it up. So we're just rolling forward a little bit on the inhale and back on the exhale. Good job, everyone. Nice. One more time. Breathe in. Roll forward a little bit. Breathe out. Roll forward. Roll backwards. Good. Now we're slowly going to let go of those wrists. Yes, I know. Yes. Uh-huh. Take the toes and bring them together, Michelle, and then open up the knees wide. Place the pillow right by the chest. So when we come down this time, we're coming down on the pillow. Cross the forearms in front of each other, stack them on top of each other. And we'll go over this again. And then come down, come down. 
And you can tuck your toes under still so you don't have to come down that far. We're only here for four breaths. Lowering the heart rate. We're in a wide-legged child's pose with the toes tucked under or the feet flat on the surface of the earth. Our arms are stacked on top of each other and we're breathing in slowly, lifting the breath through the crown of the head and then back down the back. So visualize the breath as a healing white light flowing up your spine on your inhale and down your spine on the exhale. Good. Now we're going to slowly come up and this is the easy part. Take the pillow and do it hip width apart. So on the width because we're going to come down with our bellies and our hip on top of the pillow. We want that pillow to be underneath the hips when we come down. Come down to the elbows, rest those wrists, and then watch Frank. Walk the feet towards the right side until you feel that nice stretch in the left hip. Ooh, right? Walk the elbows. Oops, walk the elbows to the right side. Now you feel a deeper stretch in your hips. Now both hips are on the surface still. Right, Jessica? Good. Stack those forearms on top of each other. Come down a little bit more if you can. If that left hip is too much of a stretch with your feet and your elbows going towards the right, then walk the feet towards the center a little bit. Because sometimes when we come down into a banana pose, it's way too much of a stretch. And so I like to let everyone know, Michelle, that you, essentially you want a between a three and a five sensation when you're doing a yoga pose, maybe even less, depending on your body. Now here's the healing part of yoga. Close your eyes and capture the inhale, breathing in, holding the breath here, feeling the belly up, and then slowly exhaling, exhaling. And now you feel your shoulders fall and your elbows let go and your body is trusting and allowing and releasing and letting go. Two more breaths. Fill the belly up. And release the belly, exhaling it out. We'll do this collectively together. Breathe in one, two, three. Hold in the breath. Breathe out three, two, one. Dropping the shoulders. Relaxing the elbows. Relaxing the hips. Woo, that's a good one. Coming up nice and slowly, breathing in on the elbows. Coming up to the elbows, walking the elbows to center, and then slowly taking the feet and walking them towards the left side. When you walk them towards the left side, then you feel that nice stretch, and then you walk the elbows a little bit more, and then you feel, oh, wow, that's way too much. Let me go back a little bit, so you decide, okay? Stack the forearms on top of each other. Allow the forearm to come forward, and then bring the forehead down on the forearms. Relax the feet and legs behind you. Make sure both of those hip bones are on that pillow. If you do not feel a sensation, obviously you can walk the feet a little bit more so you do feel sensation or the elbows. You decide. Fill up the belly all the way and then release it and feel your body dropping and your arms and legs relaxing. And now on 
a wonderful spiritual level Michelle you're just feeling your body let go drop those shoulders let the hips relax Frank feel your feet relax as well Jessica there you go Breathing in, filling up the belly together. Let's inhale. One, two, three. Hold the breath. And then exhale. Three, two, one. Feeling the forehead relaxing into the forearms a little bit more. Feeling the mind tell the body to release let go and bring in a nice happy smile to the face to loosen up the stress in the jawbone great job everyone slowly come up on the inhale and walk the elbows and the, and the feet back to center on the elbows, bring the elbows together a little bit by the breast. Bring the hands together in like a prayer pose. Using the left knee and the, excuse me, using the right knee and the right toes to tuck under and support your body, lifting up the left leg and then just bringing it back down. And you'll feel that kind of crankiness in the back. We're going to get rid of that. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring it back down. When we strengthen this part of our hip flexor and our glutes, that strengthens that lower back. And oh, yes. But we do feel sore afterwards, which we do drink lots of water. Because anytime we do an exercise and a stretch, there's always, for the first time, there's always going to be some soreness. Up and down. Now we're going to hold it up on this one, Frank. Ready? Lift up the left foot. Hold it up. One, two three and bring it back down oh, that's a good one tuck the toes under the left use that left knee to support the right and then lift up the right leg as much as you can and then bring it back down good breathe in up Ooh, hello and down breathe in up down Two more. Up. Down. And then one more. Up with the right. Hold it. Two. Three. And bring it back down. Ooh, let's get rid of that cranky bag. Walk the elbows towards the hips to lift your body up. Right? <laughs> Using your pillow, we're now going to sit on the pillow. Sitting on the pillow in a cross-legged position. And again, Frank, if cross-legged doesn't jive with you, windshield wiper is good. Walking the hands forward and then just dropping the chin into the chest. This gets rid of that. You're going to feel the deep pull in the lower lumbar, and this is good. When you walk your hands a little bit further and bring your elbows down, you feel a deeper pull. So it's up to you if you want to do that. If right where you're at is good enough, ooh, just breathe through that. That's nice. Slow inhale, Michelle. And slow exhale. Ooh. Breathing in. And breathing out. And when we first start off in yoga and we do these slow breaths together, the head gets really wobbly. If that's the case, open the eyes, look at an indentation that's not moving, and just stare at it. That'll help the wobbliness in the head come out. One more breath in. Hold. Exhale out. Nice. Use the palms to come and straighten up the arms and then walk the palms in. Ooh, good. Hands on top of the thighs. We're going to drop 
left ear to left shoulder and then do a circle around backwards and then come forward and we're going to feel that snap crackle pop in the neck and we're going to go oh my god i didn't realize my neck was so freaking cranky hello and it might hurt which mine does and sometimes they don't realize how tight our necks are so this is a good thing and drop those shoulders feel those elbows reach the hips as you're doing this oh yes that nice extra stretch is wonderful one more time around towards the left and then we're going to switch rolling our necks towards the right drop the chin into the chest let the shoulders drop too breathe out inhale roll the neck towards the right oh back and left yummy yummy sensation and keep going at your own pace for about three more times loving and relishing this wonderful time with a cool towel around the neck feeling the wonderful breeze that's kissing our skin by the lake in the tall grass because they didn't mow it yet <laughs> one more time around And then this time we're going to allow the chin to come up towards the sky and drop the head back. Feel the shoulders melting down the back and the elbows falling to the side. Breathing in and out even though that throat is a little bit constricted. Feel that stretch in the hyoid bone and the sternocleidomastoid muscle right here. Oh, that's good. Now we bring our head back to center, level with the earth, stretching the neck forward like a chicken and bending forward over the knees and then coming back, tucking the chin in like a double chin. We're going to feel that nice stretch in the occipital ridge. So I'm going to turn to the side, YouTube, Facebook, making sure we got a nice view. Stretching the neck forward and then bringing the chin into the chest, rounding the shoulders forward. Doing this two more times. Nice big grin forward, chest forward, chin up. Round the shoulders. Tuck the chin in to feel that nice stretch in the top part of the thoracic. Inhale forward and then exhale back. And on this exhale, tuck the belly button to spine. Breathe out all the air and hold. And now relax up to center. Ooh, that's nice. Now we're gonna do like a nice kundalini roll, but before we do that, our legs are crossed one way. So look at the legs and how they're crossed. My right foot is forward. Open them up and then cross them the other way. This gets rid of a little bit of crankiness and opens up the knee energy. Breathing in, we're gonna essentially start off like we did before chin forward chest forward and round the body towards the left first so it's like we're listening to the left tucking the chin in as we come back listening to the right and then reach chest forward chin forward and we're going around for three more times nice and slow again bringing that nice smile to the face oh yes and one more time. Meet front, chest forward, chin up. Inhale here, and then exhale, sitting up nice and tall, dropping the chin into the chest. We're just gonna feel the shoulders fall towards the earth, and just breathe in and out for two more breaths. Now we're gonna look down at our foot that's forward. Bring it out a little bit. Tuck the right foot under, excuse me, the right hat under the left foot. Bringing that foot up as much as, as high as possible towards our chest. Ready, lifting it up. And then bringing it back down. 
and we're going to feel that nice energy open up right in here. Only going to do that three more times. Inhale up. There you go, Frank. Exhale down. Slow inhale up. Exhale down. Gets underneath those hamstrings too. Thank you, Tree. Up. Hold it up here. One, two, three, and then bring it down. Ooh, nice energy. Pat that leg. Putting some chi energy into the leg tells your body, thank you so much for doing that for me, darling. I love you. And then uncross the legs the other way. Using the left hand underneath the right foot. Bringing up the right leg bent and then bringing it back down. So we're actually building strength in those arms and shoulders and we're stretching that leg at the same time. Up and down. Up and down. And then one more time we come up. Ready, Frank? Up, hold it. One, two, three. Nice, Frank. Slowly bring it back down. Oh, that felt good. Hello. Hands are coming on top of the knees. And we're going to like reach, pressing down on the left knee and reach that left side of the neck all the way over towards the right. Dropping the chin towards the right. We're feeling that nice, neck stretch and then slowly come up bring the chin towards the left side and then press on the right knee reaching that neck all the way over and then slowly to the other side and you'll see me closing my eyes a lot Michelle I like to tune in with the feeling and the stretch in the body and it helps to focus on the here and now instead of the mind wandering. And we're floating from side to side at our own pace because I want you to incorporate this as your yoga. I'm merely your guide. And you're flowing at your own pace. Really reach that chin around over to that opposite side to feel that extra stretch. We're doing this two more times on each side. And then meet back in the center, preparing for our second down dog. Coming up onto all fours. Hands and knees together, tucking the toes under, popping up, pushing back, breathing out into down dog, and holding it here for two more breaths. And then walking the feet to the hands into standing forward bend. This standing forward bend is going to be a little bit different. We're actually going to lift up our toes, bend our knees so we can get our fingers underneath on top of the balls of the feet and then just hang here letting the elbows drop so bend those knees as vigorously as you need to or if it doesn't jive with the hands underneath the feet don't do it just keep your hands right by the ankles or around the knees you decide and as we inhale and exhale feeling that right hamstrings right and left hamstrings really open up as well as the glutes let that head dangle there two more breaths now we're going to forewarn you when we come up we get a little bit lightheaded so take those hands out from underneath the feet if you have them straighten out the legs and we're going to push our hips forward as we come up with our head arms dangling down the side. Vertebra by vertebra. Ooh. Breathe in again. A nice big breath so we're not getting too lightheaded. 
and now we're going to focus on indentation like a blade of grass here youtube facebook something on the wall or the corner of the yoga mat because what we're going to do is take the opposite arm so the right hand is up the left arm hand is down and we're going to tap the bottom of the feet if we can and do that from side to side while looking at our focal point which helps keep our balance six more times on each side and then you can feel the stretch in that outward hip joint which is really nice because anytime we're lubricating our hips we walk better and we feel better in the back three more times on each side one more time on each side nice Frank good he's kicking his up awesome <laughs> coming down we're gonna slide our hands down our left front part of the legs grab the ankles even if you have to bend the knees again we're gonna hang here to feel that deep release in the back head dangles elbows dangle shoulders drop breathe into that energy that you're feeling in the body so if you're feeling it in the lower back and the hamstrings allow that breath to flow into those areas and exhale release the tightness in the areas good bring the hands to the surface bring the knees to the surface good and then roll over onto the left side bring the right foot forward so the right knee is parallel with the chest taking the left hand on the right knee taking the right hand we're going to swoop it behind us and bring it back behind our back so we're using it as a second spine right here we're going to use that left hand keeping that right knee straight to look over our right shoulder breathe in and out and hold that strength building for three more breaths so we're holding that tension reaching the head towards the sky for a nice straight spine relaxing down on the exhale good nice job one more up breathing in out breathing out releasing that now the right knee falls down using the right knee taking the left arm bringing it all the way over behind us pressing down on the right knee and twisting our body over towards the left looking behind us breathe in and out four times inhale reaching the crown of the head towards the sky and when you're feeling the body shaking as you're holding your body in this position, feel it building strength. That doesn't change that from a sign of weakness to a sign of strength building. Inhale, exhale. Feel that knee dropping on the exhale. Good. Two more breaths. Ooh, that was a deep twist. Slowly come back to center. Nice job. Bringing the right leg towards us and the left knee is going to come up this time. The right hand is on top of the left knee. We're going to twist towards the left again, using the left hand all the way back as a second spine, using the resistance of the right hand, twisting us into the left twist breathing in holding that tension three more breaths Ooh, the heart's beating nice and strong that's what we want blood flow blood flow one more breath in twist and then exhale release that 
left knee down, tuck the foot in a little bit, left hand on top, a left knee, right hand comes all the way around, and we're looking out over the right shoulder. Using resistance on the inhale to press that left knee down, on the exhale, hold. Inhale, press that left knee down. Now relax that right leg, right knee. I know it's kind of like challenging. Breathing in and out two more times. Ooh, good job. Release back to center. Both legs are going to come forward. We're coming to boat pose and then we're going to come down for our nice meditation. Yay! That we're going to do it on our elbows. Give those hands a rest. So on the elbows, bringing the knees up, straightening up the legs, inhaling, exhaling, bringing them back in. And you can go as high like Jessica's going high, Frank's going high, and then bringing them back in, or you can go low. You decide how far you want to do that. We're doing this out and in for six more times. One more time. Ooh, good job. Walking the derriere towards the end of the yoga mat. We want to make sure our back is fully on the blanket. Taking our pillow. We can use our pillow underneath us if we want, or we can bring our pillow to our right side. Because when we bring the knees into the chest, we're going to drop both those knees to the right side. And sometimes when we have that pillow underneath, it gives us a little reprieve, so you decide. On the bottom, or in between the legs, or underneath the hips, excuse me, the neck. Here's the tricky part. You've got your knees floating towards the right side. Straighten out the top leg, which is the left leg. Grab that left leg with the right arm, and allow that left leg to fall to the yoga blanket. Good. Now you have a deeper pull in that left hip area. Your left arm is going to straighten out up by the shoulders, palms facing up. And you're going to twist your head towards the left wrist. And we'll go over this again, okay? We're all lying on our back. We're twisting both knees towards the right side. We're feeling the opening in the left side. We're straightening up our left leg and grabbing our left ankle, left knee with the right hand. Straightening out the left arm, looking over the left wrist, and then closing the eyes and relaxing into this restorative position. In this restorative position, if the left hip is too much and that leg straight is too much, then we're going to let go of it and let it bend where it needs to. We want a nice, relaxing, meditative position. So I'm going to share with you tuning and tapping on to that positive habit hack in the body. As the eyes are closed, we're feeling the energy of the earth, the birds, the lake close by, water, the sun. We're feeling the wind come across our body. And we're allowing all that to come into the mind. To relax the body so the stress 
melts into the earth and releases us from pain. It releases us from monkey mind. And we tune all that in with our breath. Inhale. And slowly exhale. Feeling the body drop and the mind let go. Inhale, we'll open our eyes to bring both our knees back into the chest. Taking our hands on top of our knees and squeezing our knees into the chest. Breathing in at the same time. Breathing out, letting go of the knees and letting them drop to the opposite side using the pillow underneath or not. As those knees drop, that nice right hip opens up. Right arm stretches out up by the shoulder. And again, if that right arm gets too tingly, we can always bring that right arm down by the hips. Straighten out the right leg, grab the left, excuse me, right ankle with the left hand. So we're grabbing that leg and we're holding it in place or we're just letting it go and letting it fall where it needs to. Again, we want about a three to five sensation. Not too much to scare us away from yoga. Because <laughs> this really does feel good. This little yoga picnic that we're having in the park. Close the eyes. Turn your head towards your right wrist. And with your eyes closed, feel the breath flow into the chest area and feel it drop as you exhale the breath out. It relaxes the legs, it relaxes the arms. And so now you're concentrating on the release in the body. You're creating this positive habit with your mind. Allowing your body and your spirit to follow. Now imagine there's this wonderful fragrance in front of you. Your favorite fragrant flower. Or aftershave, Frank. And you're breathing it in. Inhaling, inhaling, inhaling. Hold that fragrance into your nostrils. Hold it. Hold it. Now slowly exhale it. Allow that to flow down into your body and relax it even more. And so that hand around the ankle or calf or knee is relaxed. The legs are relaxing more. And you're finding yourself in a twisted position. The tune in, tap on to that feeling of you in the here and now. Slowly roll over, open the eyes, knees into the chest. Taking the pillow, coming up to a bridge pose, lifting the hips towards the sky, and then placing the pillow underneath the buttocks and coming back down. See, we have a nice, we have a nice 
support on the lower back. We're going to take our eye pillow, Michelle. You have this eye pillow on your blanket. Place it over the eyes. So we're gonna tune in, tap on to that energy. And again, if that pillow underneath your lower back doesn't feel right, then take it off. To bring your knees together and your feet out, this is a kickstand position. In this kickstand position, the lower lumbar is relaxed. Take one hand, place it onto the heart area, and the other hand onto the solar plex area. Rest both elbows onto the surface. And you might see some purple behind your eyes. That's just tuning. That's the color of Ajna chakra, your third eye. And that just means you're tuned in with your body right now, spirit. With your hands on your body, you're feeling the breath as it flows into your body like a hot air balloon, nice and tight. Hold the breath and then exhale the breath. Feeling the spine drop to the earth. Feeling the hips open up a little bit more. And noticing that the parasympathetic nervous system, those nerve endings in your fingers and your feet and your ears, is allowing your mind to flow like a nice breeze across a lake. So you've been at the lake, we're right next to a lake, and as the breeze flows over the water surface, you see the little ripples. See that in your mind's eye and use that visualization to bring the calmness into your body, creating that positive habit, a hack. Swallow. This loosens up the energy in the throat and relax the jaw bones, almost separating the jaw bone but keeping the mouth closed. Notice how the air is flowing through the nostrils. And down through the throat as you exhale. Becoming aware of the chest rising and the belly rising. And the chest falling and the belly falling. Bringing the feet together to prayer, prayer for our bridge pose, lifting the pillow out from underneath us. Lifting the hips towards the sky, feeling that stretch in the gluteus maximus, taking the pillow out from underneath the back 
and then bringing the knees into the chest, grabbing the shins and pressing the legs into the lower back, excuse me, into the hips. Breathe in, breathe out, release the legs to the surface and then roll over onto the side in a comfortable seated position. Coming up, ooh, that was a nice little muddy meditation there, hello. Windshield wiper with the legs, breathing in, lacing the fingers, stretching them out. Really feel that separation of the shoulders. Breathe in again. And then when we exhale, the hands are gonna come into a prayer pose and we're gonna bring the thumbs into the sternum, bowing the head. Dropping the chin into the chest, we find that our shoulder, our hips are relaxing and our shoulders are dropping. I honor the peace in you as well as the peace in myself. Namaste. Awesome. What a wonderful yoga picnic today.